Matt Weiner, you got the uh, Suns fans. They're not sure what to do with themselves right now. To be honest. <laughs> yes. The team lost. They're on TV. They want to celebrate, but they know they lost. And so uh, how do they handle that? Uh, this was just a great game, by the way. It is. I, I, both teams, Isaiah, Matt, it was fantastic to watch. This was unbelievable to get a chance to see how these teams competed. We call Gary Pig the glove. I call Kyle Corbett the mitten. <laughs> Drew Holiday is claws. Claws. Claws when got it. Yeah. He was amazing on both ends of the floor. You know, we, we, we said before the game how we thought that he would be better offensive tonight, better offensively tonight. And not only was he better offensively, uh, you know, he was a juggernaut. And here was a defensive player of the game. Uh, you know, him stripping the basketball and then having the presence of mind to make the lob to Giannis to really seal the victory. I mean, you do it on the defensive side, and then you come up on the offensive side, you make the play. Uh, you know, Drew Holiday, 27 points, 13 assists, and, you know, four, what, three steals? I mean, mm -hmm. just, yep. just an overall great basketball game that he played tonight. Coming off a four for 20 game, remember, in yeah. game four. At one point tonight, he'd hit 10 of his first 13 shots. He hit his first shot of the game. You could sort of see it building as the confidence a grew for Drew Holiday, and the, the shots started falling. And I think reason why, Matt, is we all know they got a chance, Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday, to be able to handle the basketball and not Giannis bringing it up. Yep. Giannis still had 32 points, but he doesn't have to be an initiator. Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton getting a chance to run, pick and roll. They are the guards, yes. and I think it puts them back in their natural position. Also, we know Giannis is one of those freaking nature players. He can handle and make plays, but it helps those guys out, I say, in my opinion. They get to handle the basketball. They're not ball watching. Without a doubt. Not only do they get to handle the basketball, but it puts them in the offensive rhythm. And as you pointed out earlier, you know, with Middleton, Middleton playing in the mid-range and Holiday being able to post up, those guys can come off, they can get into their comfort zone, and they can make shots. It was pretty apparent from the start that this was going to be the plan for Milwaukee with Holiday and Middleton handling the ball more early in mm -hmm. offense. And Giannis's shot's really a result of whatever happened in the offensive flow. Yeah, and I, and I thought, you know, a couple of games ago, we talked about how they need to get Giannis into the mid post. And as opposed to having him penetrate the basketball from the perimeter, you can also penetrate the basketball on the pass inside the post. And this is what they've been doing for Giannis in terms of getting him into the mid range, letting him play closer to the basket, letting him dominate. And then when he gets closer to the basket, Aiden is backing up, giving him space and consequently, you know, with his guard skills and his dribbling skills, he can get downhill and get to the basket. Well, both teams have tightened up their rotations. Uh, both played only eight tonight for the Bucks, almost, almost seven. And Pat Connaughton was the, uh, the big one of those three off the bench tonight with 14 points on four of six shooting from three-point range. And he's with us from the floor here in Phoenix. Pat, congrats on the win tonight. Uh, you guys are down 16 a couple of different times in the first quarter of this game. What was said amongst you? Uh, just stick with it. Uh, you know, we came out and I don't think we, any of us thought we were playing the brand of basketball that we had to play. Um, you know, they were motivated. Uh, they're great in this building and we knew we had to be a little bit tougher, a little more attention to detail on the defensive end and make sure that uh, we're making them take some tougher shots. Pat, Steve Smith, uh, fantastic game for you, but your last six games, you're shooting the lights out of it. I followed you and watched you in college. I love the confidence. Also love that you changed your game up because you can put it on the floor, but right now you are knocking down these shots, and it's been a huge help for the Milwaukee Bucks teams. What's been the difference for you in these last six games? Uh, you know, I think just making sure that I stay confident. You know, at the end of the day, um, you know, my teammates do a great job of trusting me and I trust them. And uh, you got to take what the defense gives you. Uh, and you, like you said, sometimes it uh, requires you to drive a little bit more. But right now uh, the shots are open and I got to make sure I just look at the front of the rim, shoot it and make sure that mental toughness is there because you're going to have down nights. You're going to have nights where you don't feel like you shot it as well as you could have. Um, but you can't let that affect the next game. One shot at a time. Pat, can you talk about just the, the confidence that you guys have in Holiday's uh, defensive abilities and also how Portis has come off the bench and given you guys a big lift? Yeah, I mean, Drew, I think he's one of the most underrated uh, players in the league, but uh, defensively he shows it on a nightly basis. Um, his aggressiveness on both ends of the floor, um, he's shown on a nightly basis, and regardless of um, you know what the statistic shows, uh, he's a winner. And at the end of the day, we got a lot of winners. You mentioned BP uh, on a nightly basis as well, and uh, those are the types of things that I think win championships. Those are the types of things that put you in a position to compete for championships. And so uh, to have those two guys on my team has been a blessing, and uh, it's been a lot of fun to play aside next to them.
Pat, you're one away from a title and now 15 of 30 from three-point range in these NBA Finals. Congrats on the night and the win. Good luck back in Milwaukee. Awesome. Appreciate it, guys. All right, Pat Connaughton with us here now uh, on NBA TV. 15 of 30. Coming off the bench, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a new era, I know. Threes are wide open, and they got a ton of wide open corner threes tonight, which Phoenix will have to investigate well, for uh, game six. He said it best. He's ready. He's mentally tough. And you have to be able to come off the bench, not warm, and the only shot you're getting is flat-out spot-up shots. Yeah. He was a, guy, a kid in college. Isaiah put it on the floor and got into a rhythm. That's a different mindset, and he's knocking him down, and he, he's not hesitating at all. Nope. Yeah, and, and to his credit, as you said, Smitty, you know, the way he played in college and now the way he's playing in the NBA, you know, sometimes you have to adjust your game mm -hmm. to do what's best for the team so you can win. And you may not be able to bring all of your skill sets to the table, but what he's bringing to the table is the most important thing they need right now, and that's his three-point shooting. All right, star of the night, Drew Holiday, and he is with us as well from the floor. And there he is, 12 of 20 from the field, 27 points. Four boards, 13 assists. Those are all numbers, though. Uh, Drew, you had one of the plays that will be replayed for decades. Uh, one of the plays of NBA Finals history with the steal on Devin Booker and then setting up Giannis. If you can walk us through what you saw and what happened in those few seconds. Um, uh, man, Book's a great player and, and, and uh, scorer, especially down the stretch. Uh, I think we kind of knew that he wanted the ball and he wanted to take that last shot. So uh, I helped off on Chris and, and again, Granted to our defense, we played great defense, uh, tucked there with the stop, and then turned right into me and got the steal. And from there, going down in transition, man, uh, Giannis was screaming for it, and I threw it as high as I could. And he went up there and got it. <laughs> <laughs> Drew and Steve Smith, uh, just a presence of mind to make that pass. But I want to go back. Before you got on air, I called Gary. we all called Gary Bregna Glove. I gave you the nickname Claws because Claws is go, go get it. I mean, your defensive pressure, not only just on that play, throughout this series and throughout your career, I mean, for me is to have a guy that be able to play offense the way you can and defense, can you just talk about your defensive presence and your mindset guarding multiple guys? Yeah, man, I take pride in it. Um, one through four, sometimes five, uh, try to make it difficult. But in a situation like this where we're in the finals, um, to me, yes, I do want to score, but that's not the most important thing. Uh, we got Giannis, we got Chris, we got guys that can score. Um, I really want to make it hard for him defensively, keep him uh, t hopefully to 100 points, 105, and uh, do the best I can and really just take pride in my defense.